you sowing here today? We're sowing winter barley, hybrid winter barley at a rate of 105 kgs to the hectare using a Pottinger Aeros MSDD four meter combination drill. We have the ability to put fertilizer down the spout at the same time to aid uh, root development, which we find is uh, combating our take all uh, situation as we're, we grow mainly potatoes, sugar beet, our fodder beet and we are on take all slots so we try to place some fertilizer at the time of sowing. Perfect and you're doing that with Trimble's Centerpoint RTX? Yeah we're using Centerpoint RTX as we can have repeatability and put our tram lines in the same place every year and we we, um, we found that Trimble is excellent on repeatability with the center point and no need for the SIM card. With the outlook for fertilizer prices next year looking very expensive, do you think the Trimble system will, will help without the section rate control? Yeah, if we can have a, we usually say we have a 6% saving uh, with section control and the fertilizer spreaders and of course with the, with the sprayer and I think going forward um, it's going to become more stringent and it will reduce the cost of our fertilizer and in the, in the next 12 months I think that's going to be a, a massive save and it's a massive problem it's going to cost us an awful lot more money to buy in our fertilizer for the coming season so anything we can save is going to be a huge benefit in a, which we could see a very tight margin year coming up so Mike, I suppose we have good weather here today anyway. How are you finding conditions for drilling? Uh, it's absolutely super. Any time we can drill winter barley in these conditions at the 10th of October, it's happy days. Uh, I suppose last week we had showery weather and we were sown between the showers and it was, I suppose progress was slow, but hopefully this upcoming week we can wrap up the drilling and move on to harvesting potatoes and maybe hopefully gain some winter wheat. So Michael, you went with a new Pottinger combination drill, why did you decide to go with Pottinger? We looked at a few manufacturers and well, they were all excellent. Um, we liked the Pottinger for that it was Isobus straight off from the factory. Um, we, liked, we liked the Packer roller that was on the back of it and uh, of course our dealer is literally two minutes away at Murphy Machinery. Yeah, earlier on in the process of uh, buying the Pottinger, we met with uh, Ben and Paul Wilson of Pottinger Ireland down in Clonmel, and they hooked up a drill to, for us at the premises and went through it in detail. And in fairness to the two lads, while every machine has a, this machine has as good points like any other machine, the lads did show me the things that they didn't like, which are minor. And in fairness, that's it was very honest of them and. You couldn't ask for much more and they're they're on hand any any time you want and Pottinger is as far as we can see dedicated to pushing the concept in Ireland. So Michael I see there you're using your GFX 750 um, Trimble display to control your Pottinger drill. How are you finding it? Yeah it's working excellent. We are able to plug into the Fint Isobus uh, loom. We just use a simple nine pin plug adapter to go into the the fent which will pull the uh, drill information off the fence screen to the trimble screen and in fairness I suppose uh, I'm always trying to preach that when you go eyes of us like we saved uh, a sizable amount of money by not buying an, uh, another monitor as we had the GFX bought already all we needed was a nine pin cable so there's a lot you can do with eyes of us uh, buying any machine you could buy the eyes of just buy it eyes of us and no monitor needed, you'll save money and it'll do many machines. So Michael, I suppose I see as well you are not using any bout markers and you have inspected them on this machine, I suppose that's another benefit of um, guidance. Yeah, I suppose the, the dealer had a hard time getting around how I didn't need bout markers but there was again a significant saving and when you're on guidance you just don't need them and it's even on our Vaderstad drill we they've been I don't think there's three thousand odd acres up in that machine and I don't think they've no they definitely have never been used so why pay for something you don't need 